right, so we uh, just finished up with what we were doing at Ryan's Mustang, and now we're gonna head to my house and get the VIN verification done on the 240, because that's one step closer to getting it registered. All right, guys, so we just got back from looking at some stuff for building Ryan's Mustang, and we we're gonna take the S13 for a little ride, but I noticed it has another fuel leak. It's coming from a soft line under the filter. It's just got a little small pinhole in it. So I have some more fuel line right here. This should be enough to patch it up. So while I'm fixing that, Ryan is going to be putting a new steering wheel in the car. So yeah, that's the first mod that I'm actually doing to this car. Or rather, Ryan's doing. But it's the first mod that we're doing. So camera's going to be with him. You guys are going to be watching what he's doing because it's more interesting than a fuel line. And then you guys can hear this thing run a little bit more. Alright guys, so I'm in here in the car, um, changing the steering wheel. So this is the stock wheel, and then this is what I'm putting on. It's actually signed by uh, Haggard. Um, so basically you just pop off the centerpiece for the steering wheel, where the horn is. Um, and then you unbolt this, snip these wires, because we don't need cruise control or a horn, because it's a drift car. And pull uh unscrew this bolt and then the whole wheel should just come off and then we got to check the splines but i'm pretty sure that this will just slide right on there i'll see if i can show you it's a little hard holding the camera too but you can see the splines on there um yeah it should just slide back on and then i put this bolt back on all right guys so ben's almost done with the fuel line just had a pinhole on the side of it uh i got the bolt off but as you can see, it doesn't really want to come off, so I'm just going to have to pry at it a little bit more and see if I can get it to come off. Alright guys, so we got that fuel line fixed, Ryan got the new steering wheel in, so now we're going to take it for another little drive just to make sure the fuel pressure is good and because I like driving this car. We also figured out that the heat and headlights work, which is good. guys we just got to quiet zone um, we're gonna try to get the VIN verified I mean we made it without getting arrested so that's <laughs> good because this thing definitely causes a ruckus in the street Garrett was riding behind us and he said he saw a few flames so that could just be because it's running rich but once we get it tuned we'll find out like two foot flames out the back really every time oh my god we I need got... to give you we need to give you the camera all right guys we just left quiet zone Ben got the VIN verified, so now all he has to do is register it, but I'm going to give you a few shots, because Garrett was riding behind him before, and he 
he said that there was a decent amount of flame shooting, so let's see what we have.